Hi everyone! Today's video is Mordecai's adoption story, and I hope you enjoy. So in the afternoon after my dad came home from work, we went to Petco to adopt our new family member, and I was worried that they would have the same people working there before when I adopted Rigby. The reason for that is because when I first started researching, people always told me that when you're picking out a new hamster to make sure they are healthy and friendly. Well, in the cage with Rigby was another hamster, and the guy helping us let me pet both of them. I pet Rippy first and he was really calm. On the other hand, when I pet the other one, he quickly bit me. At the moment, no one even knew I got bit, so of course I chose Rippy, but when we went to the counter, I realized that I was bleeding really bad, so much that it was dropping, and just my luck, the guy helping us pointed out to everyone there that I was bleeding, and they gave me a napkin. So that was embarrassing. Anyways, that's why I was worried it would be the same people, but they weren't. I was still nervous about whether the same thing would happen again, but it's always better to check before you bring one home. So back to the present. When you first walk into the store, you can easily see the hamster section, and facing the walkway are the searing hamsters. On one side are the males, and on the other side are the females. We looked at the male cages, and they were all gone. We did want a male hamster, so my mom checked the other side and there was one other cage. I noticed that the sign read, Male Fancy Hamsters. As some of you know, fancy hamsters are the same as Syrian hamsters as well as teddy bear and so on. And the price was also higher as well. The others were for $10 and these were for $20, so they do try to sell them as if they were different. Anyways, we checked to see if there were any in there, and we saw that there was a dark furry ball moving around in the plastic igloo they had in there. So my dad asked the guy working there if we could open up the cage to see the hamster, and he told us that there were actually two hamsters inside. The two hamsters were both black, and it was the same as last time. He picked up the igloo from inside and tried to pick out one of them with it. He also told us that hamsters were notorious for biting, which the guy from last time also said. I'm pretty sure that they are scared of being bitten, and so was I. The bite doesn't really hurt, it's just more from surprise and embarrassment, well, at least for me. So when he started to try to scoop out one of the hamsters, he had to separate them because they were right next to each other. Well, one of the hamsters quickly got very frightened, it actually looked like he wanted to bite something right away, while the other was maybe somewhat unsure, but was more curious than anything else. We'll call him Hamster One for now and he was the one who was about to be scooped up into the igloo. So after just a few seconds, Hamster 2 ran to a corner and hid behind the water bottle. At that point, I knew which one I wanted, but I still pet him anyway, and he didn't really flinch or anything when I touched him and he didn't bite. He was basically just looking around and he had that look on his face like, who are you and what am I doing out here? It was so adorable and it really reminded me of how Rigby was when I had first gotten a good look at him. I did end up petting Hamster too, but as I said, I already knew which one was more sweet, and I am glad to say that I didn't get bitten. So they had me sign the form, and Hamster 1 was put into the box. We went up to the counter, and my mom picked up these cute wooden shoes. We had been waiting to get them for a really long time, and we finally bought them. Later on, we did go to PetSmart to get a few more items, as we soon learned that Mordecai liked to chew on wood, which is really strange and different. I chose to name him Mordecai because Rigby did get his name from the raccoon in the program regular show and in the cartoon his best friend is the character Mordecai. I just thought it would be cute and it could be like they were friends. So these are some pictures of when I brought him home. I didn't have too much in the home yet. Later on I added more but I did decide on keeping some of Rigby's things instead of giving them to Mordecai because I am more sentimental towards those items. Anyways, he's been doing well, still getting used to me and the new surroundings, and I hope he likes his new home. And that was Mordecai's adoption story. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one.